Hi, this is Cherie King, your wellness advocate, and I want to welcome you to today's video where we are going to be discussing how to go about eating a healthy diet when your family isn't. Okay, so one of the major challenges that many people tend to face when they're trying to change their eating habits or even go on a diet um, is to get the family on board. And it's not always necessarily about trying to get them on board, or at least it shouldn't always be, especially if you and your family have been, you know, you've been accustomed to eating a certain way, you've been eating less than optimally, you haven't been eating a healthy diet, you've gotten the kids used to eating sugary cereals and sugary snacks and chips and hot dogs and hot pockets and things like that and now all of a sudden you've been enlightened and you want to start to change that <laughs> yeah okay your family's going to be looking at you like please you better get out of here with that now in cases like that i personally don't feel it's fair to try to force the change on them okay if, if you guys have been eating a certain way for years and now all of a sudden because you want to get healthy, you're going to say, okay, I'm throwing out all the, the garbage, I'm throwing out all the sugar, all the cereal, all the snacks, all the crackers, all the cookies, and we're going to just eat fruits and vegetables. Mm, I, I don't think that's really fair to them, do you? Now, sure, you can begin to start incorporating healthy choices, you know, when you're preparing your family's meals or whatever, when you go shopping, you can start getting healthy items and adding them into the current diet and maybe just kind of slowly phasing things out gradually but sometimes most times actually regaining one's health is a very personal choice but hey i understand how challenging it could be okay um especially when there are other people in the household and you're trying to get your act together you're trying to get healthy i've been there so what i'm going to do today is share with you a few tips but I want you to know that this video is, is going to be kind of vague, all right? The, the tips are going to be a little vague as compared to the blog post I wrote, okay? So that's where I really elaborate on this a whole lot more. It was just, it was a long blog post. It was like over a thousand words. <laughs> and so I didn't want to have to convey all of that in video. So if you want to check that out, you can go on ahead and uh, click on the link in the description area. I put click here, but that's because this presentation is going to be shared someone else, somewhere else. So anyway, just click in the description area to go check out my blog post, all right? So on that note, here are some tips on dieting and eating healthy when your family isn't. All right, number one, ask for support. Now, just basically saying to them, hey guys, you know, I know that we've been eating this way for a long time, but I'm really trying to get healthy. I'm trying to lose weight. I'm trying to whatever. Please don't eat that stuff in front of me right now. I I'm not strong enough yet. So until I'm a little bit stronger, just Take it upstairs, take it in your room, take it somewhere else, please. Thanks. All right, number two, focus on what you want and why. How is it that you want to look? How do you want your body to look? How do you want to feel? Why are you doing this in the first place? You're trying to get off some meds. Uh, you just want to look better, feel better. You, you got some health issues going on what's the reason and be specific okay this is for you to think about and to write it down okay avoid deprivation by getting creative all right now what i want you to do is to stop believing that eating healthy has to equate to eating boring i hate when i watch tv and somebody's on a diet or they're eating healthy for whatever reason and somebody sets a plate in front of them and it's like a couple of stalks of broccoli and it's plain it's been it's been uh steamed but it's plain there's no sea salt there's no butter there's nothing on it and they're just sitting there like oh my gosh i gotta eat this so stop believing the hype okay and stop creating the hype if you're doing that find some recipes recreate your favorite dishes you know making them healthy of course and just make your food taste yummy okay Number four, eat what you love. 
Make a list of all the healthy foods that you love and keep them on hand at all times. If you like cashew nuts, keep cashew nuts on hand. If you like almonds, if you like bananas, if grapes are your favorite, uh, whatever. Find some healthy things or the ingredients that you need for them and keep them on hand so that you are never without the things that you love to eat to keep you healthy. All right, number five, prepare your food and eat it first, <laughs> okay? Sound selfish? Well, it is. It is what it is. But when you're trying to reach your goals and your family's sitting there eating pizza and whatever, you know, things that aren't conducive to you reaching your goals, hey, I feel like you have a right to be a little selfish and to go on ahead and prepare your food ahead of time, especially, again, if you're just starting out, you're still not quite strong enough to abstain okay so make your stuff first if you have to eat first unless you guys sit down for dinner in that case then have a healthy snack or some kind of appetite suppressant a healthy one which I have a recommendation on my blog and then you know while you're preparing their food you prepare their food you guys sit down you eat your food they eat their food okay simple as that number six plan ahead now, meal planning and meal prep is going to be the difference between being prepared to succeed and being prepared to fail, to slip up and fail. So you have to be prepared. I found for myself personally that when I do my meal prep ahead of time, it can be a pain. Yes, it can. But you spend all that time, you do the work, put it in, then the rest of the week is smooth sailing. Okay, now I know that was pretty brief and not much detail, but... As I said before, I do dive a little deeper into this on my actual blog. So you can actually check that out by clicking on the link in the description area, okay? But the important thing to remember is that people will often do what you do and not so much what you say. So set the bar, be the example, and watch and observe and relish in the fact that your family members are gonna to start to slowly but surely begin to follow suit in making small strides to eating healthier themselves. All right, so hopefully you found these tips helpful and will take them to heart so that you're more successful at either dieting or eating healthy, whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish when your family isn't. All right, so thanks for watching this video. Again, I'm Cherie King, your wellness advocate. Visit my blog for more helpful tips at www.gethealthycleanandlean.info. And if you like this video, if you found it helpful, please like it and then share it with others. Okay, thanks. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.